Hello and welcome. My name is Xander. This is the first Python course challenge in this new Python Code Challenge series. So this series hopes to complement the existing Python courses on this channel, looking to sharpen our Python skills first at a beginner's level with the ambition to then move on to more advanced challenges as we progress. All of the challenges in this series will be structured. So we start off by explaining the problem or challenge at hand, including any constraints. And then we move into the solution walkthrough. So at that point, you might choose to stop there. For those who would like a deeper explanation of the solution in part three, we can discuss the theory of the solutions and anything else that might be relevant or useful. So here we are then, challenge one. So this is at beginner's level. So this does complement, like I alluded to, the Python beginners course. So if you haven't seen that, a little bit of self-advertising there, please go ahead and have a look at the Python beginners course. So challenge 001 or challenge one, given a string of any length, let's return 50% or half of the given string. So here we should get 50% of a given string. Now, if that string has an odd number, say seven letters, we're gonna round down to, in this case, six, and then take 50% or half of that, so three. So if you do head over to the Python Challenges GitHub repository, go over to Beginners 001, you'll find a markdown file here with some explanations, uh, kind of a, a walkthrough, if you like, of code. And at the bottom here will be some further reading. Some of the alternative solutions, or we'll find other solutions that other, others have developed. So that will just give you also links to any other materials and anything that we've used in this tutorial. As advertised at the start of the tutorial, I'm using Python 3.9 here. So let's go ahead and just create a new file. Let's call this uh, 001.py. So let's go for, straight for the solution here. So let's go ahead and create a new function. I'm just going to call this I know, example one. And we're going to take in a string here. Uh, so just uh, one parameter there. Uh, so let's go ahead now and return. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use, essentially, we're going to slice this string, right? So we're going to pass in a string here and we're going to slice this. Uh, so what we're going to do here is use the slice index in syntax. Uh, you may be used to using kind of slice function. Uh, so let's go ahead now and utilize that. So square brackets, nothing on the left hand side of the slice. And then what we want to do is get the length of the string that we pass in. and we could divide by two, but obviously if we've got an odd number, um, so if the string is an odd number, so seven characters, for example, then obviously that isn't going to work. So what we need to do here is utilize, uh, what we can do is use floor division operator um, and then two. So essentially we're going to um, round down to the nearest number. So in this case, six, um, if it was seven characters, and then we're going to half it. So that would then be three. So the slice is then going to perform the action of then returning the first three characters of our string that we pass in. And there we have it. So let's go ahead and try that out. So we're going to print here um, and uh, example. And let's just pass in, for example, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then G will be the seventh letter. Yep. OK, so let's fire this off. So the Python file 001.py, just make sure you're in the same directory here. You should be if you're using Visual Studio Code and you open up the folder as the terminal should be in the right directory and then give that a go. Um, I've done that wrong. There needs to be a one there. Let's give that a go. And there we go. So we returned ABC. So if I reduce that to six characters, we're returning the same thing again. I'm pressing up to um, bring up the last command and you can see that is working OK. So that's the solution uh, for this challenge. There are many other ways we could perform um, this, maybe a little bit more long-winded. This might be the probably the most uh, simplistic way of fulfilling or completing this challenge. So let's go ahead now and just talk about this solution for those who want to. Um, thank you for listening. If you're going to um, just stop at this point, uh, so let's go ahead and just talk about this and kind of build this up a little bit more. Right, so let's go ahead and start by having a look 
at um, creating a new function again. So let's call this um, example one again. So this is just all good practice, of course. Um, so we're going to pass in uh, some sort of string here. Um, so let's just go through the return length um, of a string. So we could just get the length of the string, couldn't we? Right. And then we could just go ahead then and, for example, uh, divide by two. Right. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go print example one, uh, example one, and let's just pass in A, B, C and D. So let's go ahead and see what happens there. And you can see that is returning a number, a float 2.0. So what we've done here, we've made a, a mathematical uh, solution, haven't we? So what we're returning here is that we're getting the length of the string. That's a number, right? And then we're dividing it by two. So here, this has been essentially, uh, Python is considering this to be um, a number, right? So what it gets returned is a number and not the actual um, half of the actual word. So the theory here is that length by itself, if we just return length, for example, you can see that returns an integer. So by itself, when we use the length function, that's going to return uh, an integer. However, when we use the division by two, so when we divide by two, uh, that's going to produce a float, okay? So that's uh, really what the theory is there. Um, the fact that we're dividing, so that's going to return a float number, say 2.0. So that brings us on to the next example and explains what and the reason why the next example isn't going to work. So let's go ahead and use our slice indexing syntax. So slicing is something that um, if you're moving into data science, of course, is going to be something important that you learn uh, and learn well. So let's go ahead and take our, uh, get the length of our string. Right, so we know that's going to produce a, excuse me, that's going to produce a an integer, right? But however, we were to divide by two, let's remember what's happening here is that we're actually now producing a float. So we can't actually perform, we can't actually perform that on the string. So you can see here what's happening, slice indices must be integers or none. So we can't slice utilizing a float. We can only slice using integers. So if we run this, I've already brought up the error here. So we've got a type error here. So that's why it's not going to be performed because this slice here is expecting an integer to slice the string. And what we're producing is a float because we're using division here. So that brings us on to floor division. Now, I may have been slightly incorrect in what I said previously in that floor division will essentially um, round down. Uh, so I suppose that's one way of putting it. So to do an integer division um, and get an integer result, we're essentially discarding any fractal results. So if we return 2.5, we're just, re we're just uh, removing the 0.5. So there we're gonna be utilizing the floor operator. So here we're going to be utilizing the double forward slash and uh, to denote we're going to use the floor operator. Um, and from there, we we'll then produce uh, an integer um, result and therefore we'll be able to perform this operation um, of slicing. Uh, so we're going to take the first three uh, letters and return, or sorry, half of the, because um, we're going to divide the length of the string in half. Um, so we're then going to take half of the string that's been inputted um, into this function and return that. Now let's just uh, let's just do that. There we go. So A B. Now, if for example we move it on the opposite side here, run that. You can see that we're going to produce C D. So you can, if you're not familiar with um, slicing, you can already see uh, roughly what's going to happen there, or how this is kind of starting to work, or how to start with slicing. Right. So. There we go. So that answers the other challenge of producing half being the first part of 50% of the string, or if you wanted to return the second 50% of a string. There we go. So we know how to do that too. So let's just uh, find out what happens uh, when we produce, we produce um, 
that utilizing an odd number. You can see here that we are actually now utilizing or producing um, the result, including that odd letter. In this case, there's five letters. Okay. So that's pretty much the solution. I think I've said everything I need to say here. Thank you very much for listening if you got to the end. If there's anything you want to add to this, if there's any other solutions you think was uh, relevant, what I'll do is I'll take your solution, I'll put it into the markdown file, uh, and I'll reference you in there um, as you're providing that. And hopefully we kind of uh, keep adding to it if there's any other solutions you can think of. Or if there's anything you've missed, these type of um, tutorials they should be easy just to quickly recreate. If there's something that I've made a massive mistake uh, in any of these, I can just quickly recreate them. Um, no problem. So thank you very much for listening. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.